All right, um, as we say always, glory to word, sound, and power, giving glory to his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie, king of the house of David, king of all kings, lord of lords, conquering land of the tribe of Judah, elect of Jah, light of this world, Christ in his kingly character, Solomon in all of his glory. In these fullness I and I come forward in these songs once again to re-edify the original video or the YouTube posting of evidence of his imperial majesty Haile Selassie still in the flesh. So the first thing I want to clarify, first, last and always, is that what we are talking about is the individual man as well as the collective humanity. The focus of the Rasta man has been Haile Selassie and the focus of the elders of Rastafari has been Jesus Christo, Samlach, the man that they speak of in the Bible, the man from Galilee. And even before that we had the laws of Moses, the tradition of Noah, who we know as Naya, and then even the sons of Adam, that tradition. So I've seen some things on this website where people are trying to disassemble the fact that yes, we deal with Yahshua, the Messiah, Ben Miriam, and we deal with all the ordinances of the Ethiopian Orthodox faith as well as the Naya Bingi House established in Jamaica. And we still proudly fly and display the original flag of Ethiopia with the lion, the crown and the cross because this is now the Rastafari reality. Ethiopia overthrew its own government by allowing social communism to come in in 1974 and 75. This is what the students did who were educated in Haile Selassie University. Show you that education can't turn a lot of people into educated fools. Education is to establish wisdom and to make people free thinkers, not to make your program educated fools. And I believe some of these negative comments are because you have a lot of educated people, I won't call them fools, that come from out of Ethiopia and other institutions after 1974 who have some very terrible propagandized ideas of Haile Selassie and they think that he was a tyrant and all these type of things. Regardless as to what type of man you want to think he was or is, the fact is he is a king from the house of Solomon and David and he's also a Christian king. He represents a Judeo-Christian tradition and we're not trying to promote emperor worship which is atheism. That is not our intention. Our intention is to put a focus on planet Earth to some type of salvation considering the type of religions that have come across the planet. The most complete and composite and popular is no doubt the Christian religion. And the most popular figure that we all know about in history is this man called Jesus or Jesus Christ. A lot of Afrocentric people might be familiar with this particular picture of Jesus Christ or Yahshua the Messiah. But that was 2,000 years ago. In this generation we have Haile Selassie seated on the throne of David. And you also have extraterrestrial demons that are invading planet Earth with nanotechnology and cloning human beings and all types of things. So a person can believe what they want to believe. But right now, living in the 21st century, things must be based on knowledge. You understand? And that's why I bring concrete knowledge of the house of David as a Judeo-Christian house that has inspired the Rastafarian in Jamaica, the Caribbean, England, America, and all over the world to re-examine the Christian faith, the Christian religion, as well as the Judaic faith and the Islamic faith, and to look into these things historically and not fanatically. This is the purpose of Rastafari. And a lot of, like I said, for people who want to put out all types of propaganda on the information and the words, basically the information that I am bringing, because I see there's over 25,000 people that have visited this site, and it is for information and revelation, not for indoctrination or any type of promotion of any type of self. I want to fire burn out all of that because what I am doing is simply being a word and a voice in the public that is suggesting a way to try to avoid this calamity that everybody is talking about coming up in 2012. That is a whole different subject within itself. But most people don't have any type of plan or any type of program beyond paycheck to paycheck and existence to existence. And I and I who have come through slavery, we've come through hell, we've come through civil rights, where we should have been fighting for equal and divine rights. We've come through all types of things all over the world. Now we are all victims of this economic slavery that everyone is being victimized by. 
So we need to promote something positive for the coming generations. I personally grew up in a house with mother, father, and grandmother, and we had structure, we had laws, and we were obedient. Lying and stealing and those type of things was not allowed in our house. We went to church on Sunday, even though it was a Christian day. We had family things that we did. And I watched throughout the 60s and the 70s the entire family structure amongst most black, brown, and red people totally destroyed and beat up. I watched it happen, literally. I'm 52 years old right now, and I saw these things as a young adult. And I see right now today there is no respect for the elder generations, very little respect for tradition. There's all types of anarchy going on on the planet, and it seems to be accepted. So Rastafari is here to tell people that we are from creation, we are from the beginning, we are here now, and we will be here forevermore. There's a thing called astrophysiology to those who want to deal with this on an educational level, or primordial existence of man, which is prehistoric man who was celestial and divine, without sin, without fault, existing on this planet. Things like sin and disease and fault were introduced to people on this planet by alien and foreign entities. And this is all proven itself through all types of historical writings that they want to call prehistory or legend. A lot of the history of the Hellenes who later became the Greeks, they mastered inside of mythology. When the fact is a lot of those races, including the Pleiadians, the Orientals, they have proof and evidence, the Lemurians here in the Polynesian area, they have proof and evidence that they come from the stars. They are a type of star people. Their ancestors come from the stars. So now if people want to write it off as a belief, or if you want to search it historically and draw your own conclusion, I leave that up to the viewer. But I am here to give a testimony for the house of David, for the kings of the line of house of Solomon in Ethiopia that has been perpetuated for 3,000 years. There is no dynasty on planet Earth. None of the Chinese dynasties have lasted 3,000 years. From the 10th century BC until 1974 in this generation, Haile Selassie and the Solomonic line have been ruling Ethiopia, unbroken. Temporarily broken in the 11th century, but it's by another branch of the Solomonic family, the Judith kings and queens. So you can research this for yourself.